episode of Just Create. Once again, I'm Thomas Duran, founder and owner of TD Films. Uh, excited to come back to you guys with another episode of Just Create. And uh, before we get started, I do want to just take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for watching and subscribing for those of you already have. And also want to take the opportunity to ask for the people that have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button, that little bell right there on the YouTube channel. So that way you'll be notified when the next episode uh, comes up. Because I'm going to be creating some new content, kind of doing some different new strategies, still being able to bring in different guests. But uh, uh, it's one of those things I obviously want to make sure that you guys are aware that it is on. So please subscribe. And uh, without further ado, I want to move forward with uh, my next guest today. I'm very excited for uh, bringing, her, bringing her on. Her name is Meg Billings. And uh, her, this whole show is about just, about just creating, creating uh, obviously with an emphasis with video, but uh, going out and creating something that maybe you've always wanted to create. And she, I've, I've been following Meg for quite some time now, and she is, just has a tr just a tremendous uh, story, a transformational story that uh, she's really created a whole new life for her. And, it's, and, and uh, so without further ado, I'm going to let her kind of explain. Uh, in, you know, have her explain her journey here with us today. But uh, without further ado, Meg, thank you so much for joining Just Create today. How are well, you? Thanks for having me. I am fabulous. I cannot complain. It's sunny and hot here in St. Louis, so can't complain about that. Yeah, it's not. Have you been in St. Louis your whole life? So for the most part, I was actually born and raised um, an hour south of St. Louis in a little town called St. Genevieve. And then now I'm residing about 20 minutes south of St. Louis right now. So. All right. Fantastic. Well, mm -hmm. neat fact. My family is actually from St. Louis and uh, my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was born and raised there. She went to a school called St. Rock. She's very proud of apparently. I don't know. She, okay. she just thinks everyone <laughs> in St. Louis thinks she thinks everyone in St. Louis knows what that school is. But uh, you know, my grandfather grew up there. He was the. CEO of a, the telephone communications company back there in the 70s uh, called Continental, I believe is what the name of it okay, was. Okay, yeah. So, um, he, was the, he was the guy. <laughs> so, um, nice. But, uh, yeah, anyway, a lot of history there with my family. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Here to kind of just uh, want to dive in. I, like I said, I've been following you, and, and we've met through uh, Meltdown in the Desert, been guy connected with your husband, uh, David, and uh, great. You guys are just great people, but – you have gone through a tremendous, tremendous transformation of health, w life, and things like that. So kind of tell me a little bit of, uh, about that, what, who you are, what you do, and kind of start from the beginning. Sure. Um, well, the beginning, I'll actually start from the very beginning. Um, growing up, I was pretty much always active. I'm blessed to have a mother who, even though I didn't want to do it, she threw me into every single sport that she could possibly get us in. I mean, we tried basketball, volleyball, you know, anything, track. And even if I didn't like it, she wanted me to try it. Um, so growing up, always very active. Um, my passion was dance. Um, oh, nice. After trying everything, I just, I love to dance. I started dancing at a very young age. I actually danced on a scholarship. And I have been on and off dancing with Six Flags St. Louis since 2009. So dancing's always been like my thing. It literally I just... I lose myself and I just kind of forget about the world. It's literally my, just my detox. Um, so growing up, always being active. And I would say around the age of 22, I was no longer dancing full time. I was just doing it part time. I just ended a toxic relationship. I had just lost my first job and I was like, <laughs> what am I going to do? And then most that really hurt me was I stepped on the scale and I was 200 pounds. And I had never been that way. You know, I'd always been the athletic type. You know, I'd always sat around 150, but I was extremely overweight for my height. I looked at and feel good. And I was like, 
I need to do something. So here I am, 22, trying to figure it out. Um, that was when Instagram, I felt like, was starting to get kind of big in my area. And I just kind of looked Instagram and tried finding these people and uh, picking the brains of any, you know, fitness instructor that I had to my disposal in my area. Um, I did start to lose a little bit of weight, but unfortunately, I took it to um, on a toxic route. And I yeah. unfortunately formed a little bit of an eating disorder. Um, thankfully I was able to pull myself out of that myself and I didn't have to, you know, go through any extreme measures and get extreme help. Um, for a few years after that, I just maintained a healthy lifestyle. I was the general manager of a local gym here and I absolutely loved it. I just, um, even though I wasn't dancing full time, I ended up falling in love with fitness. Yeah. It was like and another outlet for you. Exactly. Um, I dance part time. I normally... With right now, I go back to Six Flags for their Fright Fest productions. But other than that, it's me and the gym. And for a few years, I really wanted to do a fitness competition. But I wanted to do it for the wrong reasons. And I was thankfully able to admit that to myself because for a while, I thought if I did a fitness competition, it would help me fall in love with my body when that's not the truth. Um, so I actually spent about four and a half years trying to fall in love with who I was before I did a competition. And it was uh, winter of 2017. Um, I found myself almost at 200 pounds again. I was not leading a very good life. I was drinking very regularly, which led to a lot of junk food. And I was lying to myself. And I overall, you know, here I am. At that point, Fit Beauty Pro was something that I was trying to build, but I thought, how the F am I supposed to lead people to better their lives if I'm sitting here lying to myself and I'm living in this toxic environment? Well, do you, you think, was, I mean, if you don't mind sharing, uh, and, and obviously, please, you know, don't <laughs> share what, what no, you I'm feel. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was some of that stuff, those struggles prior, you know, and do you say, two, what was it, two, when 2017? Um, and 2017 like, is when I found myself almost at 200 pounds again. All right. So like what, what led up to that? I mean, you said you were in the fitness, you were doing that and what really kind of led to the drinking that I mean, obviously, you know, I have, I have beer and I want to eat <laughs> like, like that's, yeah. I think that's an issue that a lot of us have, but, uh, mm -hmm. um, but like, what was, what was going on in your life at that time that, uh, that was sort of like, I, I like rock say, bottom? yeah. Um, I want to say it all started when I left as a general manager to the gym that I was um, a manager at. And honestly, for a year, Hutch and I took a complete year off from the gym. And even though it's, it sounds like so petty, like I felt like I lost myself when um, I parted ways with this gym and trying to find myself again and, you know, finding my identity again. Because it's almost like a relationship with a person, you know, when you're so consumed, you know, I was so consumed with this position. It's all I ever knew. Um, I didn't know how to be myself, not as a general manager anymore. And so I lost myself. I was so upset. I was blaming this person and that person in this situation. I was blaming everything but myself. I was just lying to myself and it just kind of spun out of control. And I could gear off from the gym and Hutch and I, you know, unfortunately, I was a really bad example because he followed through and he ended up gaining weight. But, you know, for a year, it was, it was just, emotional support. I mean, <laughs> misery <yeah>. loves company. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's just like every every Thursday, I remember we would go to the bar and drink all night and drinking led to bad eating. That was for a year. And then the next thing we're done, we're like, oh, my God, like we're fat. <laughs> <laughs> That moment <laughs> while you're like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, it kind of, it's just that one moment where you like look in the mirror and you're like, hold on. Like, this is not, this is not the way I need to be leading my life. And again, Fit Me Pro was, um, was in its like baby stages. And I wanted, to, I wanted to create this brand, but again, I, I couldn't lead people if I was not leading myself. So yeah. And so the, what was the switch that really happened? Cause like I said, like this transformation of being where you were at 200 pounds to where you're at now and going into the fitness competition is, is absolutely amazing. It's very inspiring. Um, and, and it's, yeah, everyone talks about that's what they want. They want that result, but 
the process and the dedication and the discipline and just the sheer <laughs> commitment and effort that has to go through that is, is really right. mind blowing. So like what, what literally motivated you, not motivated, but I think there's motivation, but sometimes that, that falls off. What switched for you so drastically that it was able to keep that commitment throughout that process? Yeah. Um, honestly, be honest, I wanted to kick my drinking habit. Um, that was by far, I remember, um, again, Hutch and I, we had started going back to the gym. Um, we were not fully dedicated to it. I would say at that, right before I decided to do my competition, I'd already lost about 20 pounds and Hutch had lost also a little bit of weight, but we were still in the habit of every Thursday was our date night and we would get drunk. And I remember one night I got blacked out drunk. I, and I'm, I'm an honest about it. I was so blacked out drunk. And here Hutch is, he's just trying to be playful. We're driving home and we're in the drive through wine to Taco Bell. And he's just like <laughs> poking me like, ha ha ha. And I smacked him across the face, blacked out drunk. I should not even be driving. Don't drink and drive y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was that point where I was like, what the F am I doing? You know, I was so embarrassed. I, it wasn't me. And I was like, if there's anything that's going to help me kick this habit and lead me to a better life, I'm just going to do a fitness competition. I'm just going to do it. I, yeah. and, and at that point, I didn't feel like there was any other option but to fully commit to the competition that I had put on the back burner for four and a half years. Wow. Wow. So like the whole thing was, is that you just want to do a fitness competition and you feel like that was the, that was where you have made it right in, in, in that regards and made that change. Yeah. When you, because when I, you, what's ahead. that? Oh yeah. When, when you were at that, cause like everyone has that, like that goal and that end of that journey. Right. And I think, or they, they, they set that, that they have that mindset. This is what I want to achieve. And then, you know, once they achieve it, it's kind of like now what, but what was the experience like, taking you to when you got you know like that process that journey that you went through was it any was it anything that you would ever imagine do tell me about like the things that you kind of like did not expect would happen right <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah for sure um and you know i get that a lot especially during my prep a lot of ladies would say i want to do a competition i'm like hold on honey <laughs> um, because it, it's hard um uh, competing is a very selfish sport. I, I will say it did come in between me and Hutch's relationship a little bit, um, relationships with friends. Um, you do have to sacrifice a lot. I dieted through the holidays. So showing up at a family function and, you know, grandma's expecting you to eat and you have your little Tupperware of food and say, I'm sorry, like I'm dedicated to this and nobody understands. And you have to be able to take, um, take the comments. Um, oh, you're dieting. Oh, you're not eating this. You're not eating that. Um, you're doing wrong. it I wrong, have a right? Lot of like everyone thinks you're doing it wrong. That's not healthy. This, like they all have this idea of what healthy is, right? Like it's. Just... Yeah. They think, oh, it's just one meal. Like, no, like it's not just one meal. I can't like that creates a huge snowball. And I see some competitors now who are trying to follow in my footsteps. Like, oh, well, I had a, you know, I had a a little bit of a soft pretzel the other day. I'm like, you're 20 weeks out from a show. They're like, oh, but I'm 20 weeks out. I'm like, it's those habits. You have to form those good habits. And even though I had a lot of support, I did have a lot of like comments and that that's really hard. And you have to be strong mentally and, and be able to just take it and let it brush off your shoulder because it does get hard because those cravings are going to set in. You're going to be like, coach, I just want a freaking cheat meal. But you do get <laughs> You have to trust the process. And I remember Hutch asked me, it was the night before my first competition. He said, what was the hardest part of your prep? And I would say, honestly, even though the food was the easiest, I did have some times where, you know, I forgot some egg whites and I had to run to Target and I would literally almost like black out. It was the strangest thing ever. And I don't know if any other competitors have experienced this, but I remember almost like blacking out and waking up and I'm in front of the donut and I'm like, I could totally just quit this, say, screw it, eat the donuts. And, but you have to kind of like reel back. So it, it's hard. And yeah. that was, so there's really no secret ingredient. It sounds like you just have to kind of 
just grin and bear it and get through yeah. those. Because here's the thing: there's a direct correlation, and this is this is why I find it so fascinating and and just appreciate. On, honestly really um appreciate the the amount of discipline and the and the and the work that you put through is because like with anything people have a tendency of being fearful and scared of being being criticized being Mm -hmm. judged um and Mm -hmm. that's what's stopping them from really going out and doing what they really want to do right And, and, and 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 so when it comes to trying to be creative, trying to be able to start, you know, if someone wants to start a show or someone wants to start, you know, start doing some art or kind of be a, a, uh, a figure, a speech figure. And it, family is always the toughest. They don't understand that yeah. family is always the no. toughest. They see you in one way yeah. and they, that's all they're going to see you yeah. as. You know? my, my... I remember it was like two, maybe three weeks before my competition. And then at that point, like your cheeks start sinking in and, my dad's like, I remember I was running some errands with my dad and he goes, and don't get me wrong, my dad is very supportive. He's my best friend. But he said, I just want you to know, little one, this is not like something you're you're going to keep doing. Like, it's just, it's not healthy. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the best shape of my life. <laughs> and it was like a bad day. And I was just like, you don't understand. And he was like, I'm just saying like, it's just not something that you can keep doing. I'm like, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> exactly. Right. So that, that moment that you went on stage, right? So, I mean, I, 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 sometimes I feel like we just have to stress enough because I don't think people realize or, and, and understand the amount of, um, strictness that you have to go through for this thing. It's not just about being healthy or working out and eating, eating right. It's, I mean, there's specific mm-hmm. thing. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you did it because I, I, I can only have so many rice cakes, you know. So I mean, it's, obviously, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't do it. But <laughs> I did have a lot of rice cakes. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> a little peanut butter on it. At I was least. Like, give me the rice cakes. <laughs> yeah, give me those rice cakes. I need those rice cakes now. <laughs> Anyway, oh, so it, and and I and I and I do have appreciation of it. My dad actually went into a bodybuild was was training for a bodybuilding contest. So when I was growing up, watching him go through that process, it was you like you said. There's so many sacrifices, and it's like, dad, like, kind of, I gets annoying for a little bit because it's just like, <laughs> can you just enjoy a meal with us? Like, what's up? But uh, yeah. you know, so but that you have all that burning on you, and you you basically say just tough through it. Mm -hmm. And when you get to that end of that journey and you grew up on stage and you're now, you know, you're, you're doing your poses, you're, you're going out and and, and you're in that preparation. What was, what was that feeling? I I can't imagine what that feeling was like, like, like walk us through your day of, (laughs) of, of, of of that, you know, of like, I accomplished something, oh, but now I want to win. And now it's like, it's got it's such a tremendous mixed emotions, I'm sure. It, it definitely is. You know, coming from a performer standpoint, I, I just really, I was so excited to get on stage again. Like me on the stage and bright lights, like that's my home. That's where I love to be. So I was not shy by, by no means, but um, you're really depleted and, you know, I don't want this to sound so bad about competing, but it's just the truth. You're depleted. Um, you don't get any water really that morning. You get maybe like, I think I got like 20 ounces of water. I had only a cup of, of egg whites and that's all I got for like 12 hours. So you're depleted, you're exhausted. But you know what? I knew that I was going to walk away with some hard work. I was manifesting that the entire time. I was meditating on it. I was like, I'm going to walk away with some hard work. Like, this is what I've worked for. And I did. Like, Look at I that. There out. it is. I walked out with some hardware. Um, and it's the most incredible feeling. You're like, I mean, I had a competition two weeks after my first one. And after I walked away with all those trophies, I was like, I'm done. Like, I don't even want to do St. Louis because I just, I'm so like, fulfilled and I felt so great and you know it was it was worth every single sacrifice every meal that I didn't want to eat every workout that I didn't want to finish um every time I cried my eyes out during a workout because I was just like so stressed out it, it was worth every moment as crazy as that sounds it was worth it how do you think that so what does that translate to you to now like in your 
in your marriage, translated to in your personal life, in your business. Um, I, I, w- you know, that approach, is that something that's been easily translated to or transitioned, I guess, not translated, but uh, transitioned to, to, to the other aspects of, of what you're doing? Yeah, it's definitely been um, a learning lesson because, you know, you put so much heart and dedication into one thing. And I realized, honestly, I wasn't putting all of that effort and heart into other parts, you know, my business, my relationship. And I'm like, what was so important about the competition that I was able to put so much heart and dedication? You know, I need to put that also into other parts, like my relationship and my business. It, so it's it's been a transition. You know, it was almost eye opening. Like I need to put just as much level of effort into all these. And holy shit, where can things go from here if I do so? And it's crazy how things can go that way. Exactly. So what do you have going on right now? I know you. I, I know that you have some pretty amazing stuff with you and Hutch, and and you yeah. guys got some exciting stuff. So tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on now. So for my personal brand, which is Fit Beauty Pro, one thing that I I really wanted to accomplish with this with this brand is to show others that you can achieve your dream body no matter where you are because I know what it feels like to be overweight, uncomfortable, not happy with your body and be able to go from that to stepping on stage as a successful bikini competitor, anyone can do it. And so I want to inspire other women to do the same, even if it's not to step on stage, if it's just to better their body and better their health that's what I want to do. So I am an online personal trainer. And uh, through my YouTube, I do have a lot of free resources through my Instagram, a lot of free resources. I want to, I want to try and just get out to as many individuals as I can using social media. And then outside with, with Hutch and myself, um, another thing that I do is I'm a health and life insurance broker. And one thing we realized about, I don't know, maybe a year ago is we had a lot of unhealthy clients, like, they're on all these really expensive prescriptions. And, you know, what would it look like if we could put you on a recommended meal plan, set you up on a workout plan to get rid of that expensive prescriptions so that you wouldn't have to be spending all that money, wouldn't have to be seeing the doctor all the time. That would lower your monthly premium. And people were like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. Right? Like I, you mean my, my health expenses will go down? I uh, I will appreciate that very much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just kind of what Hutch and I are in the process of doing is, you know, we, we are health and life insurance brokers. He is a wealth management specialist. And, you know, we have a team of my, you know, myself and Hutch that we're, we're these personal trainers. He's been in the industry for 10 years as a personal trainer and, in, you know, health and life insurance. And we were like, why don't we just help uh, you know, our, our customers outside of just the health insurance, outside of the life insurance, let's actually help them with the core root of the problem, which is their health. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of people that we work with are all our business owners. They're like, I'm just so tired, I can't keep up. Okay, well, what does your diet and exercise plan look like? Yeah. And it it, it it all just works together. And so that's what legacy is is it's helping people build their legacy and starting with the core problem, which is mostly their their health. Yeah, no, that's that's really amazing, um, and it's it's awesome to see you guys really taking your your journey and your lifestyle, your guys's lifestyle, and and trying to become health, and then you know what you guys sell, and and really combining the two together and realizing that it's it's a full package, and and, and it's a full package, and, and, and our business has excelled the way it has because we our our first priority is our health. You know, Hutch, Hutch works sometimes 18 hour days and he wouldn't be able to do it if he if he wasn't following the diet and the workout plan that he is. Well, you guys and are same with myself. You guys literally a walking and prime example. Like like you guys are living, walking, talking billboard for your guys's business because you literally have walked that journey as well for your for mm-hmm. yourself. And you can easily say I, I did that. And it's, it's possible. That's what we want everyone to think, because some people think they're alone on their journey. They don't think it's possible. And I'm like, hey, no, it is like you just have to have a little bit of faith in yourself and just know, look at me, look at Hutch. We did it. You can also do the same. That's a pre- pretty, 
that that's perfect. That is perfect. Um, what would you tell? What I mean, you you kind of mentioned this already, but like you said, your focus with um, fit beauty. What was it? Fit beauty pro. Fit, fit beauty pro, and and and, it, and you really focus on and on, on helping out women. Um, what, what, do you, what would you tell those? Because I, I feel like we're living in, a, in we are in a, in a society, we are in a day where people are, are depressed, our anxiety, are, are just their confidence level is just extremely low. And, and that's why I always feel like with, when, when I say just create, I think it helps people to kind of get them out of those depression, the, the idea, because you're creating something, it gives them that, it gives you that self-accomplishment. And so what do you tell the young ladies that, that, that are struggling with this? How, like, what would you say to them if they're watching this now? What would you say to them, like, to to help them get to feel like there's hope? Honestly, it really comes down to the stories we tell ourselves. You know, and unfortunately, I I found a little bit backstory. I received my first dose of body shaming at the age of ten years old. Mm. So for a very long time, I thought that I was the big girl that, you know, my chunky thighs, you know, we're never going to get me anywhere at, with a dancing career. Um, and I, it's, you know, I kept these stories in the back of my head that I was never going to be successful. I was never going to be able to obtain, you know, the body that I desired or anything, anything really in life. You know, I wasn't ever going to, you know, achieve in career wise. And what I realized was that it really comes down to the stories we tell ourselves. If we're going to talk down and negative about ourselves, what do you think the outcome is going to be? So my advice, especially all of my clients that I take on, because most of them are in the same spot. They're like, I can't do this. I, I, you know, I'm gross. I'm disgusting. I'm not sexy. I'm like, no, you're beautiful. And you are sexy. Like start telling yourself these things because once you start telling it over and over again, you realize that it's the truth and you manifest what you desire. And that's in another thing that's a whole other topic is, you know, the law of attraction. And it yes. really does work. Like I remember, you know, starting it out for the first time. And, you know, when I tell people, it comes down to the stories you tell yourself. They're like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, no, it really does. You have it's to true. And it works it both ways. Cause I, what, what do people say? Like when you tell a lie, you start believing it. And then it, like you all of a sudden yeah. start believing that is true. Like, and you start acting like that it actually happened, you know? Yes. And, and so your mind is, is, is just an amazing. And, and I had a, uh, I had a previous guest. His name was Luke Brady. And mm-hmm. he, 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 he is a, he calls himself, or he is like what we call an attention artist. This is the label that he gave himself, but because he, he does amazing things, he's a really good artist, but he's also a magician. And mm-hmm. as a magician, it's all about um, the illusion and, the illusion. And, and, and the magic, you know, behind it. It's like seeing mm-hmm. things in different perspective. And that's what he was saying. He was saying like, you know, our minds are a lot like Google. We look up, you know, we, we will ask a question and, yeah. and you know, and, and if we keep on asking the question of like, well, why do I have bad boyfriends? You know, it's going to come up with reasons why you have bad boyfriends. And that's the mm-hmm. way you're always going to mindset that your mindset right. is on that. I'm always going to have bad relationships. Yeah. But if you say like, what do I, you know, or like you change that wording around or you change that question and you start actually, t- t- you know, tricking your mind saying, well, I look for this in, in, in a boy, you know, in, in, a, in a boyfriend is that I'm looking for this quality. And, you know, next, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you're just your mind is just telling you. Yeah, this is what it mean, is, right? you get what you put out. You put out yes. negative energy. You're going to get negativity back. Like start changing your mindset. And, you know, it does work. And, you know, it, it takes a lot of practice. Your mind is a muscle like anything else. And I just I, I had, a you know, one of my clients a couple of days ago was like, teach me, like teach me how to tell myself better stories about myself. I said, honey, I can't teach you. <laughs> Like your stories that you tell yourself are the stories you tell yourself. And I said, I can't tell you to tell yourself that you're beautiful. I can't tell you to tell yourself that you are going to achieve your dream body. You have to tell yourself that yourself. And that's really what it comes down to. It's manifesting what you truly want. Because once you just get that brain and your muscle going, it will happen. It might not be right away, but keep manifesting that and it will happen. That is, that is beautiful. And so, so the, the other thing I want to kind of talk about, and because like that, like I said, th- this is just like, I, I hope, I hope people will listen in and, and, and they take away some of, of how inspiring this is. And, and, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be showing, you, you know, your, your transformation here, like 
definitely go check her out everyone go go follow <laughs> her now where where can people follow you right now um so both instagram and youtube it's just at fit beauty pro so f-i-t-b-e-a-u-t-y-p-r-o there you go pro. there you go well don't leave just yet until the show's <laughs> over so but uh but yes please follow her because uh i think you guys are going to be just truly amazed like i said following you guys it's it's been really amazing it's been it's been inspiring me to go get to the gym i ha you know i've been doing that with with a uh uh, Coach Durst and and I, I don't know if you remember him from Meltdown in the Desert. Um, I does, might like, recognize him. Yeah, I'm um, terrible at names. Uh, don't worry. Like he's he's a great guy. Amazing, amazing. I'm actually going to have him as a guest um, next week. So um, yeah. you know, I'm really really excited to bring him on. He has his own podcast as well. But uh, so you know, this like I said, like the the part of this program that I've always wanted to do is just to introduce people and and people that have uh, that I feel like they've influenced my lives. And, and, and hopefully get that message out of just is it's all about going out and taking the action and just creating. But the other part of this video or this video, <laughs> this show, this show is is talking with people that are using video for their business that are using video for, um, you know, for their endeavors, uh, either being a sole entrepreneur or for their company, wherever the case may be. But they're not necessarily video production companies. They're not, they're, they just, there's a struggle that's involved. And so a lot of people give up on it. And, and, and so I always like to have people share their stories, their struggles and, and, and their successes when it comes to using video for their business. So mm -hmm. you have your own YouTube channel, right? Yeah. And, and, and what, what was your first experience like <laughs> trying to create that? <laughs> You know, it growing your YouTube channel, it comes with lots of struggles. Um, honestly, like starting off, I'm like, where do I start? And so you're doing all this research and trying to pick the brains of, of people who are already doing it. And thankfully, I have a social media guru who has helped me just so much. So I'm so thankful for him. You um, name drop him? Are you going to name drop his him? Right name is, his name is Jeff Joukowsky. He's also going to be at Meltdown this year. I call him the wizard for a obvious reason. Um, I would not be where I am today with my social media or my YouTube without him, to be completely honest. Well, you have to introduce me to him. I love to meet this I will. Guy. So I, I will. He's I got to meet this guru. <laughs> he's amazing. Um, so anyways, just starting off, I would say like my biggest struggle with YouTube is, honestly, I do it all myself. Um, you know, every once in a while, I'll get Hutch and he'll follow me around to the gym. But really, when I go to the gym and I'm filming a, a workout, it's me and my tripod. And, you know, here I am, like dorky little Meg, like running around with her tripod, setting it up. And, oh, is that angle right? You know, it, it, it's a process. And editing it yourself, like, I don't have anyone to edit my, my, my YouTube videos. And figuring out, you know, what's, what's appealing to the eye and, you know, what are my competitors doing? What are people attracted? do it it's, it's a learning process and i'm still learning to this day of what works and what doesn't work definitely um it's funny because like how many times have you how many times have you gone through an edit you edit it and like something happens shuts down like like just the struggles of just like trying to get a one video out could some you think it would take only 20 minutes but it literally takes it, forever it takes hours i mean i normally only make you know roughly six seven minute videos i don't make them very long but it takes me like four to five hours just to edit it you know it's making sure everything is piece just perfectly and the transitions are right and the music's there and making sure that it's, you know the music is legal and i mean it's a whole <laughs> process that goes into it <laughs> uploading yeah, it i look man it, 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 the, those those uh yeah um the licensing music is it's always a it's always a challenge um yeah. actually i should do a show on where i get my licensing music on i think i should, should do that because like there's some great great sites way. yeah like there's some really great sites but i could give you i mean epidemic sound um is a great uh uh subscription based um they mm -hmm. they create their content specifically for youtubers um it's not the cheesy music. I mean, they have cheesy music on there, but, but overall, their music is pretty amazing. Um, so Epidemic Sound and then Artlist, which is another uh, interesting site to go to. Um, Artlist IO, I think that's what it's called. It's where you pay one year subscription of like 200 bucks, but you have unlimited downloads, which is huge sure. because yeah. you could buy, people don't realize you, I mean, some music could be from just $50 to $400 just for one track. 
and yeah. it's, it's it's absolutely amazing but yeah so there's a little tip epidemic sound artless io are, are really good and i don't get paid by them they could pay me for sponsorship but that'd be great but <laughs> yeah 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 look i just threw out your name guys so help me out <laughs> free subscription please you know yeah that's uh, another thing people are like well how much did you get paid from youtube i'm like nothing, nothing. Like, yeah. it's all just me you do it for the love you do it for the passion yeah. you do it for to help build your brand I, people need to understand that you don't go on youtube to get paid like it's just that those days are over I mean, in order to actually, what they change their algorithm with all the changing of their stuff, like you have to have like ten thousand views and subscribers, and before you even get to monetize yes. your your site, you know, and it's so, crazy. Yeah, I it, mean, I just really, use I just do my YouTube. I just want to share my content because we have social media to our disposal. Like the day of, unfortunately, like the day of a newspaper is just. I'm not going to post in the newspaper. Like, hey, check out Fit Beauty Pro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that anymore. Like I need to get out this information to people and that's through my YouTube. So you see just all... like a newspaper kid on the bike throwing the throw in the like newspaper. Your daily fit. workout yeah, from like, Fit Pro. Do, 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 do. And it's like fit fit be you pro. <laughs> just... <laughs> it's like a cartoon. That'd no, but amazing. I just I do it because and it takes it's a lot of hours and some days I'm like, why am I doing this? But it really just kinda comes down to like I wanna help as many people as I can. A, achieve their dream body while also learning to love their body along their journey. That's most important to me. That, that, is, that is, I'm so glad you bring that up. Cause you say, why, why do I, why? Cause like, why do we do this? You know, I ask myself, why am I doing this? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and you bring up, you just said your why, and that's what's, yeah. what's stress driving. I think it's pretty amazing. And, and also I think it's inspiring to see that you're not, you're, we, yes, we all want to have a business. We're creating a business out of what we believe in, what we love to do. And so obviously there's going to be some type of transactions, but that's the beauty behind business and capitalism mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But, but there is a, there's such a genuine, um, just a genuine and, and, and sincerity of like really wanting to help out people. And, yeah. and so I'm, I'm truly, truly amazed. Um, and keep up what you're doing, you know, cause I, I, like I said, I've been following your guys' journey and, and and seeing you guys what you guys do is just it's just absolutely tremendous. Keep up with the great work on the on on, on the YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube. <laughs> I got um, some videos to edit tonight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, so, you plopped on my couch. <laughs> oh man, like I get to a point where I got like it's so hard for me to. Okay, first of all, how hard was it for you to edit your own videos and seeing you yourself like? Like here you are editing and you see yourself. Uh, yeah, I hated my voice for the longest time. I'm like, do I really sound like that? Yeah. Like, ew. <laughs> but you get so used to it after a while. And it's just me. Like it comes down to like, if I really want to put out this content. Like my voice is the way that it is. I am the way that I am. And people are going to follow me if they love me. And if they don't, whatever. Like, but listening to my voice for the first time, I was like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know exactly what you mean that's how I, I that's how i am today like watching like stuff i'm like what was i doing or like that that tone like how do people even friends with me right now i don't get I <laughs> it's, it's almost it's almost kind of negative in a way but or like uh, the lighting isn't right the yeah. angle's not right oh, i'm just like double God. chin double chin yeah the, i'm always like all right if i angle down the camera <laughs> And if I lean forward and make it look like I'm flexing a little bit, I'm looking good, you know? Oh my God. It's, it's brutal. It's brutal. But you know, that's what I, that, if you want to know what motivated me to get back in the gym, feel like I, like I, like you, like you, I used to be active as uh, used to play sports in high school. Uh, basketball was my sport. Um, sure. believe, believe it or not football. Um, but, yeah. uh, what got me back into, trying to like i'm like this is it is literally seeing myself on video i mean it, they say it adds 10 pounds i swear to god it add another 100 pounds to me but whatever you know it's just what it is but yeah seeing that editing the video my ver from my very first show to where i am right now it's just was like i got to do something this is just yeah i can't look at myself anymore <laughs> it's, no one else wants this if i don't want to see this what makes you think other people want to see this you know, and I thought the same. I went back. Um, I know Hutch and I, we went to Punta Cana a year ago, and 
I looked at some of those pictures and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then I went to some of my first YouTube videos. I'm like, no wonder nobody was following me. Like this fat chick's trying to give fitness yeah. advice. I wasn't like fat, but I, you know, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't again, living the life that I, that I wanted to be. And I was definitely overweight and I was like, no wonder no one's following me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might you might have some people out there that that, that like that sort of thing. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe. It's a whole different channel. It's a whole yeah. Different channel. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know if we should end on that note, but uh, <laughs> but uh, no. In all honesty, thank you very much. Um, you guys are coming out here for the meltdown in the desert this this coming yeah. up. I'm really excited to 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 hang out with you guys again and and uh, I know meet up. It's- 14 days and I I'm like know. I got my suitcases out. Are you gonna bring those trophies? You should bring those trophies and just walk around with them. And just oh, be I like should. you just like everyone's already flexing already over there. You can just be like, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Like I just I, I anyone who can get out to the meltdown, I think it's sold out probably. But like I think I just, it is. I know the hotels are and it's just it's good. It, it's be. insane and it's it's beautiful to see just how this is what his third year, how just fast it's growing and I'm so I'm so proud of Colby and Steven and next year if anyone can go out I know you're going to be shooting some some video uh it's just it's an amazing experience it's awesome yeah that's the best way to describe it it's it's just not a uh it's not like any other event that's out there this is really a truly an experience an intimate experience really it is and you know I have been to a lot of entrepreneurs conferences and it's just like like dancing and lights and it's just it's just fluff and honestly when when hutch you know presented the idea to me last year i was like another one like i really don't want to go and like truly like the only reason why i went because hutch was like well sean whalen's gonna be there i'm (laughs) like all right i'm going i'm just gonna go for sean whalen and honestly like nothing against sean whalen i love him to pieces but like i kind of forgot about him (laughs) because like the event was just like so mind-blowing i was meeting like all these great people and you're laughing and you're crying and it's just it's so intimate and real and i just it wasn't until like the last day i'm like hey sean whaling can i get a photo with you (laughs) oh yeah this you're the reason why i actually came but not (laughs) i don't need you now bye i'm your biggest fan by the way i'm your biggest fan that's but awesome. No, it's a great event. I'm so excited. Like I said, I got my suitcases out. So fantastic. Well, it's it's hot. It's hot. It's extremely hot out here. So uh, you know, be prepared. You know, and uh, um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we're we're really definitely excited. Thank you again, once again, for the one last time. Tell the viewers where we can find you and follow you, and just continue to have us come along. I, I love how you allow us to come along to with your journey and, and join in on with that. And so, you know, tell, tell the viewers again where we can find you and follow you. Yes. So I'm mainly on Instagram and on YouTube and it's at fit beauty pro. Fantastic. Thank you, Meg. Thank you guys. And uh, come back for another episode. A lot of great new contact, uh, contact content is coming out um here very shortly it's a summer it's going to be a lot of fun so anyway stay tuned guys and talk to you soon make sure to hit subscribe hit subscribe